One and this is Sam Hale and Jenny Dents from Phil Hour Europe and from Phil Hour America. And today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to take a cast for a dynamic walk, uh, for custom dynamic walk. And what we really want to do is help everybody be successful because we run into a lot of casts that we really can't use, which makes it more expensive for you and us, which is not good. So Jenny is going to show us how to do this right. Yeah. How we measure for the custom dynamic block. We need some measurements and uh, we really need all of them. Uh, so I'm just going to show you here. Uh, we usually want the, um, the brace height to be just at the uh, largest AP of the calf muscle. Uh, maybe a little bit above, but around that, that, um, uh, that height. Uh, if we look here, that should probably be around here. So you mark that one and we'll measure it from the ground up to here. And that will be uh, 36 centimeters or uh, 14 inches. So, and you can actually more mark whatever you want on the form. Either you do millimeters or you do inches. Um, here, I'm gonna put uh, millimeters because that's what I'm used to in Sweden. <laughs> so I marked millimeters and then I had my A measurements, which was 36. Mm -hmm. And I write that there. Uh, then I also need to know what heel height uh, the orthosis is gonna have. And um, that is all on what shoes the patient is wearing. Uh, it's not, um, you're gonna be able to change a little bit if you want at the fitting, but you want it to be close anyway. Here, I want a 12 millimeter uh, heel wedge uh, to go with that. And I'm gonna make it 12, meter, uh, 12 millimeter heel height. So I'll put 12 millimeter at the, um, at the heel height at B here on the form. And then um, to actually make the, the, the brace also fit the shoe, it's important for us to know the, um, the measurements of the insole of the shoe. Either you can actually make a trace out of, this in, uh, out of the insole of the shoe, you will put this on a piece of paper and you will trace it, or you can take measurements. And here we need the measurements at the heel. I will measure over here and I will see this is six, uh, 60 millimeters. So we'll put 60 millimeters here at the E. And that's the inside of, the, of that uh, insert. So you wanna make sure you're getting the heel width that's gonna sit down inside the shoe well, not to the outside of the taper on those uh, shoe inserts. Exactly. If you uh, like lift it over to this side, you actually, sometimes you can see it more easily where it where will actually fit the, the inside of the shoe. So you can also measure it on this side. And here it's 60. So then we also need a measurement uh, over the MTP. So I will do that here also on the insole. And that's nine and a half uh, centimeters. So we'll put that out for the D measurement. Nine and a half. And then I have a C measurement, which is actually the, the length of the insole. And this one is also not all the way back here. It's actually from here. I do do the measurement on top of the insole here. And this one is 27. Or you do it on the back side, because that might be easier for you to see where it's at. But you will have the same. So it's 27 centimeters, 270 millimeters actually. So to set this up, what Jenny's gonna do is she's gonna use that half inch uh, or 12 millimeter um, heel wedge back there because it's gonna be probably what's closest to my shoe here because this has got a really nice thick heel with a big drop down to the toe area. The other thing that she's gonna use is a wedge out at the toe because if you notice my shoe, it actually comes up, it's not straight and often we'll cast them just straight. So she's also gonna put a little wedge out here at my toe to accommodate this rollover, this is going to help your um, inserts last a little longer, or your uh, the, the foot plate portion of the brace to last a little longer. So you do want to try to match that if you can as well. So when you set these up, these two wedges are going to end up up underneath my foot to get a better cast. I'll also show you how to cast here. Uh, this is probably the most important thing here. Uh, so I'm going to use my gloves so I won't get too dirty here. 
Uh, when I cast, uh, I want the cast to be slightly higher than I want the thoses to be, uh, about two inches. Um, it's, uh, so I'm gonna go up from here and then I'll go back up to here to make sure that I have enough space. And this is really important because, uh, you know, getting a cast right at this point takes you five minutes. For us to fix that, it's going to take an hour and we have to charge for that. So get your cast right here on the front, whether it's us or your technician having to deal with it, because that always is going to save you money in the long term. It's easy to fix it now, hard to fix it later. Yeah. I also want to mark uh, on, the ca on the cast where I have my malioli. and where I have my fifth and first uh, metatarsal heads. Yeah, and now we're gonna go get casting here. I'm gonna use the plaster uh, to, to, to do the, um, the casting here. You can use uh, synthetic cast tape if you need to. Just do make sure to use um, enough of it so that it's nice and thick, but then also it bonds well together. Uh, we don't want your slinkies. They don't make good, <laughs> they don't make good casts. They don't make good AFOs either. So make sure that when you're sending these in that they're thick enough, at least four layers of plaster, um, at least two to three would be even better of cast tape. Uh, we really like to make sure that we have a good cast show up. And if you do get a two week cast and you realize that when you get it off, Please just reinforce it. That's also an option. And now here, I'm making sure that this is positioned in neutral. This is extremely important to be able to build the uh, custom dynamic walk. So I need this one to be 90 degree in the sagittal plane. I need to be in neutral in both uh, the frontal plane and in the transverse plane. So make sure that you get it in neutral. It's extremely important to get this to be a good, um, um, a good, uh, a good brace. I'm gonna uh, mark out here so I can get it back to uh, to the same. And uh, I will lift the foot. Oh. <laughs> I should take my weight off of it then, probably. <laughs> now we're done with casting, and I need to have a look at my cast and see that it's all in the correct angles. Uh, I look in the sagittal plane and see that it's uh, around 90 degrees. I will look in the frontal plane and see it's in neutral, and also in the transverse plane, so I can see it's in neutral there as well. Uh, if it's not, really, make a new cast. Uh, it's imp extremely important to us to get a good cast in order to make a, a good brace for your patient. Thank you.